So what we're working on, obviously, is turning this thing, which is that exercise bike, into a vertical axis wind turbine. That's what we're going to do. Now, I've got some really bad habits, actually, and one of my habits is to talk about things as if I know what I'm talking about. Now, there's some things, clearly, I do know what I'm talking about. So batteries, know them inside out. Other things, I basically haven't got a clue, but I come across like I do, and I understand that it's actually just a bit of a habit and a bit of a mistake. When we're coming to things like this, I'm basically clueless. I don't know what I'm doing. What I'm doing, really, is just giving things a go. And I think that's important. I think it's important just to try stuff, really. And, and I don't know if stuff is going to work or not, so I'm not suggesting these things because these things work. What I'm really suggesting is you just try stuff. And what I tend to do is I... Just try stuff. And of course, I have this really unfortunate habit of sounding like I know what I'm talking about. I don't. So here I am giving something a go. Now, the main thing here, obviously, is we need some kind of drum. Some kind of drum that's going to have blades on it that can catch the wind. And I was walking down from the store to the lab and I saw this thing. It's obviously a cable drum made out of plywood. And I thought, do you know what? That might actually work. So I'm not saying it's going to work. I'm saying I'm going to try it and see if it's going to work. So the plan is, bolt it on that cross that we looked at in the previous video, stick a load of blades on it, and then a support here. This support, incidentally, I got from our VDU display unit. It's pretty sturdy. And hopefully, we'll get something that will spin in the wind. Now, whether that will spin in the wind or not, I have no idea. Because I just don't know what I'm doing. But, if it does spin in the wind, then I'm going to do a video telling you I thought about this all and I knew it was going to work. But I don't. Anyway, let's get on and make some blades for that. OK, so this thing actually, has central core was made out of a bit of plywood wrapped around these steel rods. And you can see I've removed the plywood right there. And what I'm doing is cutting it into five centimetre strips. Now, because it's kind of curved and it's been sat there a long time curved, it's got a little curve to it. And all I'm going to do is stick those five centimetre strips in there like a squirrel cage. Now, the angle, I'm just guessing it. It looks about right to me because it looks like all the other squirrel cages I've ever done. So... I don't really know. I'm just giving it a go and a guess and we'll see if that actually works. So I'm going to glue those in there and clamp it down. Slice this up into five centimetre strips and just go all the way around with it. Okay, so that's it done. Now you can see what I've done. I removed that centre, cut it into five centimetre slats and put the slats on the outside at a slight angle. Now I know it's a bit rough, but to be honest, I haven't got a clue if it's going to work or not. So we'll see if it works. If it works, I'll tidy it up. Now we have to get this tested and one of the ways really is just to stick it in the wind. This thing has a big hole right there so I've made this plug which will go in that hole and help me centre something so it fits in like that and then if I put that down there I've made this rough and ready cradle so that we can stick that on and see if it'll spin in the wind. And the cradle's just a couple of uprights, a bit of broom handle, and then some bearings in those end bits there. So we'll slide the cradle together, get it in the wind, and see if that thing turns. So it has quite a lot of inertia, which means it gets a little bit of um, a wind to get it going. But then when it's going, actually, that inertia evens out the gusting. So we get a, a gust to stop, a gust to stop, but the thing keeps on spinning, which is very cool, actually, if you think about it. Now, if you look at the edge of it, actually, that edge is moving actually quite quickly. Now, I put it on the car just to get it off the floor, trying to get it in a stream of wind. But I guess one thing we do now, it will turn in the wind. That's actually really cool. I'm quite amused by that. It's also vaguely hypnotic, so I could certainly watch it all day. Anyway, for something jammed together, it actually works. Oh, I should mention as well, actually, the wind speed is supposed to be somewhere between 8 and 10 miles an hour. So there isn't actually much wind at all. And it did have a challenge to get going, but now look at that bad boy spin. Hmm. Awesome. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> so, for something that was knocked together from an old cable drum, and it's as rough as two dogs. Now, if you've seen two dogs fighting, you know how rough that is, okay? So, it's rough. But, 
it works. Or at least it spins. I mean, the plan now, obviously, is to bolt it onto this thing. I'm imagining the, uh, the uh, inertia will be even higher, but in a stronger wind, we should be able to get that to turn. And if that's turning, we should be able to generate from it. So I guess what I'll do is tidy this up a little bit, actually, uh, make it look a little bit prettier, something like that. Bolt it onto here and we'll hopefully get a stronger wind and we can see if this whole mechanism will turn. So the whole mechanism turns, next thing, glue some magnets on the flywheel. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I thought I'd do it with this bit with the cable drum. Incidentally, these cable drums are used for all kinds of things. People make tables out of them and we've made a wind generator. Kind of cool, but thank you for watching the video and let's get on with this project.